Okay, this is the second uh, part of hoof distortions, and uh, I just want to talk about some of the things I've seen after doing this last dissection as uh, regards what I've noticed about the coffin bone. Um, now, what I am researching and studying is corrective trimming. Um, <clears throat> I would not call it barefoot trimming per se, though my horses happen to not have shoes on. But it is corrective trimming, and what I am trying to learn and study is the uh, the way the hoof capsule grows and the way it fits onto the internal foot. Now, if you watch the anatomy videos, you came to realize that the foot does not just consist of a coffin bone. Yet, that's about all they ever talk about. You know, and the pictures you see, uh, all you ever see is that, basically. You know, or that. Um, and so we come to think of just thinking about the coffin bone as the foot. But we know that, that back here, um, in here is connected the lateral cartilages. And then we have the digital cushion that fills in under here. Um, and, and the bulbs. So the foot, the internal foot, is not just a coffin bone. But for some reason, in... In all the research and all the barefoot stuff I've read and natural hoof trimming and, I mean, the whole gamut, okay, it seems like this is the thing, only thing that's ever talked about. Okay, so, well, I am going to talk about this thing right now, but I want you to remember this is not the foot, okay? The foot is uh, this with everything else attached to it. Okay, so some of the things I've noticed about this, because, you know, we were talking about uh, hoof capsule distortion and um, how we're trying to trim and take off leverages so that we can correct this hoof capsule so that it fits perfectly to the interior foot of which this is only a part. An important part, but only a part nonetheless. Okay, so something I've noticed now, Toby was eight years old and crooked-legged and he hadn't had much hoof care when he was a youngster and different things like that and so he had some issues and some of the issues he had are the same issues that um, I have on some of my horses and that I've seen on unhorses and other horses and one issue that's really common is that you will have one side now his isn't as bad as a lot of them and of course I've taken this hoof capsule apart but you will have one side of the foot that is wider. This is what you call an asymmetrical foot. You'll have one side that is wider. Usually it's the outside, or what's called the lateral side. Wider than the inside or medial side. And um, you'll notice that the wall on the outside will often, you know, it'll come out more like this. There'll be more of an angle to it. Um, whereas you'll see on your inside wall, which I've cut off here so you can't see it, but what you'll find on the inside wall is that it's a lot stiffer and steeper and doesn't have as much of an angle to it as the other side. So again, a little wider here in the sole to the outside, um, a little narrower in the sole to the inside, and also the walls on each side are different. This side will slope out more. A lot of times these si the, the outside of the foot seems to flare more. Now, yes, some horses can be flared evenly all the way around, but this seems to be a very common hoof distortion. And uh, so, um, and again, this side much steeper. Now, what I have found in looking at the coffin bone is that, and this is why, you know, a young horse, you want to learn as much about feet as you can um, so that your, your young horse is trimmed right and um, his feet don't get, get distorted. Because one thing that happens is when the hoof capsule flares and gets distortions in it, it will remodel this bone. Um, the bone will form to the distortion. And I'm going to show you how that's that's going on in this bone. Um, 
first of all look here to this side here let's get this down here so you can really see it okay now notice how the outside over here is lower and it's at a at a at a lower angle here this side is steeper and higher um, even looking in here I don't know if you can see it but I can see the difference in the shape of the bone here this side is much steeper and this side is much more flared out this way this is actually in the bone so that is nothing that I can correct on the hoof wall now the hoof wall might have some extra flare which this horse didn't he had a very tight connection all the way around the the hoof wall there but um, there can be some extra flare that I can correct but I may never be able to totally correct and make this side of the foot exactly equal to this side and uh, I think too some something that might happen here is that when this outside of the hoof does flare and is pulling on the bone it will actually pull the inside of the hoof over and it can even per se make this side steeper than it should have been so that is something that went on well let me get a little more light on the situation that is something that has gone on with this horse now what this is going to do and of course I don't have the other leg bones and and this isn't the right bone and and I don't think no this isn't the short path this is a long pastern bone off another horse but uh but uh, but we'll just use it temporarily to represent a short pastern bone okay and that is that that you've got this joint here right and stuff so um if this side is has a bad angle and is slanted out okay it's going to make let's see if I can explain this where are all my my things okay this is not going to be level from here to here it's going to be slanted from here to here oh we're gonna to have to stop there <clears throat> and I'll have to come in with the next uh, 10 minute edition of this okay